G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age Guide, and this time I'm going to be showing you where to get the Gendarma, which is a invisible, brokenly, exploitively, amazingly omnipotent shield in the game. It is one of the invisible equipments, and it actually has 90 evade, 90 magic evade, and it will absorb any element in the game. So with this on, it's pretty much going to make you unkillable. And on top of that, it is actually a unlicensed equipment, so anybody can wear this shield. So if you follow the method laid out in this video, you will get the shield 100% of the time. I tried this six times in a row, and I got the shield six times in a row. But this technique was originally posted or thought out by or uh, founded by a game FAQs poster by the name of Zerth. Now I'll put a link to the description in the description of um, the original thread where he goes over the method, but all credit must go to Zerf because it was actually his technique that made this uh, initially known. So in order to get to the spot where you can actually loot the shield, you have to have cleared the Great Crystal. Now not the Great Crystal part for the story, but the optional more expanded part of the Great Crystal. I will have a link to a map in the description below. So if you're having troubles getting through it, make sure you follow a decent map or the one that I link. And it shouldn't take you too long to get through it. It is a bit of a slog, but stick with it. So once you get to this part on the map, you will come up against the Esper Ultima. Once you've defeated Ultima and looted the Excalibur, leave the room and then we're going to set up the party for the 100% loot method. So what you're going to do is open up your menu and make sure that only one party member is activated. Deactivate the other two party members and then go into whatever active member that you're using and unequip his weapon and his shield or her shield and her weapon. Once you've done that, equip the diamond armlet and have a look through your other equipment and make sure that you're not using anything that gives you equip status. So anything that gives you regen or haste or anything like that, make sure you unequip those. You don't want any buffs at all on your character when you're attempting this. If you do happen to have a buff like haste or regen on your character, you can use a dispel mode or the dispel spell to get rid of it. But it's important you have no beneficial stats or negative stats on your character. Once you have your party set up or your character set up, then walk through the barrier back into the room where you fought, fought Ultima, and at that point you'll get the autosave. Now what you want to do is press your PlayStation button and go out to the main menu and close the application, close Final Fantasy XII. This is very important that you close the application as it'll reset the RNG table as it's called. So once you've done that, load up your game and then you're going to be brought back into the Ultima room with all your preparations and you're going to run up to the platform and check if there is a crystal or a little chest there. If it's not, that's fine. You can just run back and forth and in between the zones and keep on checking that platform until you find that little crystal or that treasure chest has appeared in the middle of a room. Once you see that it has spawned, run up close to it and then what we're going to do is attack ourselves. So hit the X button and then press L1 or R1 to target yourself and then you're going to attack yourself 9 times in a row. Now if your preparations are correct, then on the ninth hit you should get a 4 hit combo on yourself. So you can put it in 4 speed mode and it'll be pretty obvious when you get that 4 hit combo, but you must attack yourself 9 times. Once you've seen that 4 hit combo, attack yourself one more time and then after that, loot the chest. Now the chest will contain a meteorite, which isn't a problem at the moment and what we're going to have to do is zone out of that area one more time and then once you come back into the Ultima room, you'll see there is a chest there again. All you have to do is walk up to that chest and now loot it and you will find the gendarme in the chest. So. It is really as easy as that. And if you want to get more copies of this shield, all you have to do is walk back out of the room, back into it, and then you'll see that auto save again and then repeat the process. And I did that six times in a row and I got six shields in a row. So this is really easy to uh, replicate and there really shouldn't be any problems. If you are finding it's not working for you despite following all the steps, it may be that the character has the license brawler or brawler law. I'm not really sure if that affects it, but that's the only thing I can imagine might. Anyway, once again, props to the game FAQs, game FAQs user Zerth for posting this method. And thank you very much because it was a uh, fantastically easy way to do it.
So guys, I hope that one helped you out. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions, or you just want to tell me I'm an exploiting scrub that doesn't know how to play this game, and in the original it was harder and blah, 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 then leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Uh, moo.